What's going on? In this episode of The Handyman, I had planned to build a very special project that I'd been plotting for years. However, I recently received a dire communique from a devoted viewer which touched The Handyman very deeply. I'd like to share that note with you right now. Dear Handyman, I'm writing in hopes that you can help. My family hadn't had a proper vacay in nearly a decade, but my husband, Toby, is a semi-pro theremin player. He plays church on Wednesday nights, and he refuses to go anywhere without it. I swear I think he loves Bessie more than he loves me. Fact is, he practically admitted as much when he got his beer goggles on at the DuPont Tire Plants Xmas party back in 02. But I digress. Here's the deal. If we spend the money for the theremin travel case he wants, then we can't take our vacay to Gatlinburg. Can you help solve my dilemma and help us get out of Murfreesboro for a week or two? One of your biggest fans, Wynette. P.S. I've attached a photo of Toby and his blessed Bessie. Well, Wynette, I'm more than happy to oblige. And I've got just the fix for your quandary. Therefore, I shall be amending my best laid super secret plans to build this specially requested item. This is a flight case. Now you've probably seen musicians carrying these, or possibly assassins, pretending to be traveling troubadours. But seriously, you can protect just about anything in one of these rugged, well-protected cases. Don't worry if you don't have a theremin. What I'm about to show you will work for just about any item you're afraid might break during travel. You can build your flight case to suit your particular needs. Now I don't have a theremin, but I do have a mixing board that I'd like to protect. The tools you're going to need for this project are a saw, a drill, your trusty tape measure, a hammer, a razor knife, and an electric carving knife. So, without any further ado, let's commence to our artful construction. First thing is to measure and cut all your material. And remember, measure twice and cut once. Next is assembly. It's a little bit of glue and a whole lot of screwing. Next, we're gonna throw down a little bit of goopage to get our black auto carpet on there. Now, with a whole bunch of spray glue and a whole lot of foam, we're gonna make this thing super safe. Last thing we gotta do is throw a bunch of hardware on here and this thing's all wrapped up. Now that's a thing of beauty. <laughs> Brings a tear to the handyman's eyes. Well there you go, Wynette. Just 10 easy steps and a couple hours in the shop and you too will have your case ready for old Bessie and your vacay. So if any of you viewers out there have any ideas for us, drop us an e-line and take pictures of your finished project so we can put it in the Handyman Hall of Fame. I'm the handyman for the common man and I gotta go. To see this project in its entirety and download a free set of plans, make sure you visit handymanforthecommonman.com and tell all your friends.